Hello everyone. Hopefully this will be a quick video, but I wanted to get the information out there because this is important in my opinion. A few days ago, I received an email from a viewer who asked for my opinion about a video regarding an alleged 24-hour sun in Antarctica. Here's a portion of the email. I'm not going to read it, but this is the video mentioned in the email. If you are familiar with my past videos, you already know that I'm highly skeptical of the Antarctic 24-hour sun claim and any videos that seemingly support that allegation. But is my skepticism warranted? First, we already know that because of the Antarctic Treaty System and its enforcement protocols, independent travel is not allowed below the 60th South Parallel and that alone should raise some major alarms that the controllers are hiding something big from we the people, like the shape of the earth. Second, I've discussed this in other videos, and so I will cover this quickly, as many of you have already seen this. But this video you're watching of the alleged 24-hour sun in Antarctica is absolutely fraudulent and provably so. I'll have a link in the description where you can look into this more. But to summarize... The clouds at the beginning of the alleged 24-hour time lapse exactly match the clouds at the end of the time lapse. I'm not making any of this up. You can watch the documentary and do this yourself. Now, here are the two segments synchronized. Remember, these different clips are supposed to be separated by an entire day. As you can see, there's not one iota of difference between the clouds. If you are an honest person, you must recognize the fact that it's impossible for a whole bunch of clouds to match each other exactly 24 hours later. Now, whoever created this 100% fraudulent video went to a lot of trouble to fake the Antarctic 24-hour sun because they had to fake the shadows, the lighting, the clouds, the sun, etc., there are other fraudulent videos as well, but I don't want to get into that at this time. But let's get back to the main point. So why am I convinced that this different video is also fraudulent? Instead of the clouds reappearing exactly the same, in this case, the sun appears exactly the same 24 hours later, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's first watch the relevant portion of the original video, but I did speed it up for brevity. As you can see, the sun is supposedly moving across the horizon as it similarly would close to the North Pole. The shadows seem correct, and the clouds do not repeat, like in the other Antarctic video. I guess they got that right. But I really want you to pay attention to the sun. Watch as the sun comes across the second time, and see if you can notice at first glance any differences between the two sun segments, allegedly separated by 24 hours. Let's watch the two segments synchronized. Again, these are supposed to be separated by 24 hours. My synchronization may be off by a fraction of a second, but you can see that the suns appear to be exactly the same. Already, I think that's impossible, but I wasn't 100% certain. The sun changes its path about one degree every day, and the atmosphere changes a little bit every day. And so those flares on the camera, or whatever you call them, should appear similar, but noticeably different. But let me get to the coup de grace that seals the deal for me, that this is indeed fake. Maybe you missed it, but there was a point where the sun appeared to flash in the video. I have the clip here. I don't know what would cause this flashing. I assume a cloud could do it, or the camera had a slight malfunction, but the flashing actually happened on both day one and day two. Here, I have slowed down the flash to one-tenth speed. On two different days, the flashing of the sun and the lighting matches perfectly. The suns not only match perfectly, but the flashing of the sun also matches perfectly and synchronized. Nah, I don't think that's possible. And so I'm confidently calling this a fraudulent video. I'm sure the globe propagandists and the zealots are going to disagree, but before you voice the typical shill comment, you need to provide some actual proof of your assertion. Otherwise, you will be blocked. That's my warning. 
For the sensible, honest person, this has to be a fake. Remember, we already know that they will go to a lot of trouble to fake the 24-hour sun in Antarctica. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Sorry, but I will never believe another claim about the 24-hour Antarctic sun unless I see it or someone I trust sees it because the paid liars are definitely out there and I have proven the same here. But before I end this, I did want to share with you a little clip of an interview between Karen B. and a gentleman who was a former NASA employee who also lived in Antarctica for a few weeks during the southern summer. I'll have a full link to the interview in the description. In the interview, the gentleman claimed to have never seen the 24-hour sun in Antarctica, and he should have. Listen to him and judge for yourself whether you think he's lying. Tonight we have with us a special guest. He is an ex-NASA employee. He used to be a professional musician. He's a flat earther, a published author. Uh, He's very knowledgeable about information technology and 5G technologies. He is, did I say he was a flat earther? He did. (laughs) McMurdo is is a town like a college town. Okay. As a matter, seriously, in the dorms, guys would dump sand out in the hallway and put lawn chairs out and drink coronas. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, it was like a big college party, man. It was cool. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so did you see a 24 hour sun in Antarctica? Well, okay. Here's the funny thing about that is it's it's not it's twilight. You never see the the orb that we call the sun. You never see that. Okay? Really? You don't even ever see the disk? That's what I mean. We never see that. Okay? And it's 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 like a a twilight that's 24/7. Um, it was like, it was just always light, uh, sort of a light haze, twilight type light. Um, you also never saw what you could consider to be the position of the sun. Cause even, even when the sun's going down or coming up and you have a twilight, you have an, a certain level of intensity at an area where you see that's where the sun's coming up. Right. Right. I never, I don't recall ever seeing that. And we were outside quite a bit. 